stack. So what I want to do is I want to actually come to the first horizontal stack I have and I want to show you a different way that you can modify this. So what I'm going to do is let's delete the spacer out of there. So this is how it looked at the beginning. And what you can do, you can add alignment and spacing features separately uh, for your H stack. So what I can do is to add that after the H stack, let's just add in a pair of parentheses and I'm going to say alignment. All right. And then let's come in and add a colon. And then after that, you're going to put a period and then you'll have some choices. So you can align your text to like the bottom, the center, center by default, the top. Let's just try the top. Let's just do top here. And you'll see that that jumped to the top. Now, if we want to space this out manually, now I added a spacer and it spaced it out the whole distance. But if you don't want that to happen, what you can do is you can put a comma here. And if you say spacing, you can give it a number. So let's say if I put spacing, I say 100. You can see that that jumped out. So if I put 50, you can see that you can modify those changes uh, as you see fit. So that's one way that you can do that if you don't like how far the spacer is spacing everything because by default it's going to space it to the margins. Uh, so you can come in and add this that way. The last thing that I want to show you in relative to this video is actually how you can add. We talked about H stack horizontal stack, so stacking horizontally, vertical stack, so stacking vertically. But what about if we want something to be stacked on top of one another? Well, that is what we call Z stack. So I'm going to come up here to the top and let's just write in Z and say stack. And of course, let's put our brackets. So I have an image over here that's sort of like a circle. I know not worried about it looking pretty at this point, but I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So let's say I want my image to show up. So whatever you want, pretty much the order matters. So the image is what I want first, and then I want the text to be stacked on top of it. So whatever you want on top, it needs to be last. So in this case, I'm going to go in and say image. And that image was called, I'll just, I think it was called circle two. So that's what I'll put in. Now let's hit resume and see if my circle image pulled up. Yeah, there it is. Not the best looking, but you'll get the point. And then if I want my text to be on top of it, we'll just say hello world. Hello world. You can see that now that is stacked on top. So H stack is horizontal, V stack is vertical, and then H, uh, Z stack, excuse me, Z stack and Z, that means that you want something on top. And that's it.